Welcome back to Trusted Romeo IT. So today I'm going to show you how do you solve this problem where it says your account is violated the un unacceptable business practice policy actually. So sometimes Google they might do this thing because of their right. Sometimes they might do this thing because of their wrong actually. They have sort of like an AI that detect or sort of like come up with this what do we call it uh, this message which means you weren't able to run the ads at all so but at the end of this video i will show you the strategy on how do you go and uh, what do we call it and reinstate your google ads actually by the way if you feel like you can't do it by yourself um i'm gonna make a, a videos like this each and every single week actually on how do you get your business back even even though when you when you are suspended by you know other other what do we call it other uh, what do we call it yeah other uh, policies as well i have another video i'll put the link on the description just go and check it out actually um or if you want us to do that for you there's a link below you can communicate with me on the instagram or whatsapp actually then i can help you to to get your business back actually so uh if you're new in this channel make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you know whenever when you release any new videos like this you will get notified actually so um yeah let's come to the video actually um what happens is um what do we call it uh i got this message first where i was uh what do we call it uh suspended because of the vi violating our circumventing i don't know how they call it a uh, circumventing system policy something like that where they are you know talking about the clocking different content users including google you know then users aims the results interfering google whatever you know what they're saying actually hiding the you know uh hide on none what 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 you know, something that is not even related to your business actually so by the way i have a, a website of what do we call it um uh the website of what do we call it a dstv actually so i'm, I'm sure because of dstv it's under trader mark you know that's why maybe they are you know blocking my uh my business actually yes so um that is why actually so which means you might you know go and read about these policies actually you know about the, the, the google ads you know what they're saying actually so um yeah if you feel like maybe your website is really good there's nothing there as you can see here this is the perfect website where it's 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 it's, it's no more website actually where it talks about the solution and the dstv you know everything everything is perfect here i don't see any dns where that saying that you know it's uh sort of like it's not really you know whatever the police that they're saying actually uh it might be caused because of the dstv where the dstv dish master you know uh that's that's how maybe they are what do we call it uh uh feeling like uh, what do we call it uh here what do we do here i mean like it's sort of like we are taking away the business of dstv actually so that's what they're thinking actually so basically and this is for the services you know this is for the services actually yeah so uh how do we do that actually on the i don't know on when you're using your mobile phone how does it work but normally it, it does need a computer and then even the menu panel it's not that really good you know you have to come and click where it says contact us actually then it will uh you have to come here where it says uh submit an appeal actually submit an appeal actually so um i will just come and uh, click submit an appeal actually um uh, by the way in this place that's where it will open what do we call it a, a small menu you know uh i don't know why these people uh i don't know why they they put this you know small menu actually to to do a, a, a what do we call it yeah yeah like small menu to do that actually you know this is a small menu so here on the section here you will have to write your 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 name i don't know how did you verify your google ads with what do we call it yeah the google ads if you have used your company uh, make sure that maybe you might use your name of the company when you verify your google ads actually there's a what do we call it there's a there's another video that i'll put on the link on the description 
it's uh, how to verify google what do we call it how to verify google ads actually so you must use everything that you have used there actually so um um here i'm gonna come here and select the uh what do we call it uh the account you know uh, that is suspended or you know yeah that is suspended actually so i'm going to select the account that is suspended uh i think it's here i don't know why these people they use this small menu where you can't able to see uh let's see 952 yeah this one actually so i will have to come here and uh paste the website Okay, I think I'll, when I paste the website, I'll paste the web, the, the landing page straightforward of DSTV in installation services so that they can know that this is a service straightforward. Uh, I'll come and copy this one and um, paste this one. Then here I will say DSTV installation services. Um, yep. Then uh, here I will have to write the address actually. Where is the address? I think the address is here. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is what you have to do actually. Or if maybe you were running it because of you have what we call it. Um, um, let me check here. Uh, because of the postal code maybe call campaigns only i think hey it it, it, it it won't be nice actually uh yeah then uh, we will have to come here where it says billing country um by the way i'm in south africa you know the place where it doesn't have a name actually it's a direction I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm just kidding. Actually, yeah. But it's. It's true. You know. It's. It's a name of the direction. South Africa. You know. Some of other. You know. Place here in South Africa. They have. You know. Names actually. Like example, Ghana. Like Israel. You know. Yeah. So I'm looking for South Africa. So and then here it's gonna ask me. You know. Do you have single or multiple Google Ads account? I'm. I'm gonna just say um single yeah actually you you can click single if you are single actually so because of i'm i'm kind of like a person who uh what do we call it uh you know manage ads you know i'm a digital marketer so which means i will have to you know yeah click i am an mcc actually it means that you manage a lot of accounts actually or multiple you know multiple not under mcc actually so something like that something like this or something like that yeah so are you advertising your own business or uh, you know i would just say i manage account for you know client you know this is what i do yes uh, then i'll ask they will ask me who's paying for the google ads account i'll if if not yourself please explain um so i will have to explain how what we call it our clients uh pay the the, the 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 google ads actually so i'm gonna explain right now let me just pause the video yes yeah, so it's asking me who pays for google i mean who, who pay for the google ads account if not yourself please explain then i will just paste this message where you know we just write the clients provide funds for the Google Ads and the agency management fee, you know, something like that, actually. So they will ask a payment option, you know, your Google Ads payment option. So it's a, you know, credit card, actually. So date of last payment. Um, I think on this one, it has created around, I think we have started this thing around on the one. Let's just say uh, the date here, it's going to be, you know, 1 November. And then it says, what countries does your business serve? We are in South Africa. Uh, yeah, South Africa. All right. 
yeah then it will ask please brief you know please provide a brief of description about your business you know you know um normally what i do is i'm a friend with an ai like a chat gpt actually so yeah you can visit chat gpt and ask you know in terms of the questions or help in terms of you know how you can you know do you you know you can write things actually so yeah so i'm gonna just do right now i'll just pause yeah so um i'm gonna just come here and uh, paste you know yeah this is what i just wrote you know da, 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 dstv master you know i explain about what what does this company do actually so and then they're gonna ask me what do we call it um yeah like information regarding the clients uh uh regarding client agent relationship all right so i will have to fill up this you know form actually actually yeah all right so here it's basically if you are you know what do we call it uh heaven if you're an agent actually of course this is where you have to apply i don't know if you're using what we call it you know if it's just for your account actually that's where you can write that you don't have any agents actually so because of i'm an agent i'm gonna run i'm, I'm gonna write what i'm you know you know what i think it's it's right actually so yeah this is what i have to write so here the the domain ownership actually um so in terms of the the domain ownership here this is where you have to uh yeah right the where you are hosting you know the hosting and the the, 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 the what do we call it if it's an annual or per month i don't know you have to do something like that in my in my case i'm um using this website called uh register domain essay actually this is where um i'm hosting actually so first of all you need to put your you know the, the name of your website i mean the domain of your of your website um this is where i will have to add what we call it where i'm hosting actually um let me just quickly get what do we call it uh uh what do we call it uh yeah so uh what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna just highlight a small what do we call it uh um then i'll just come and write here we are uh oh 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 still at then i'll have to hit enter uh mm -hmm. in south africa you know uh yeah i think it's in it's in it's enough actually um and and the website is uh you know Yeah, something like annual. I'm sure about the spelling annual. You know, the website domain and hosting is annual. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Then here, uh, let's go to the next step. Here, it will ask you either phone, I mean, either phone or an email. It's fine if you want call or email. That's okay. So I prefer call and the email actually. That's what I prefer. So here is the it's my where you can put um, what do we call it your number actually. So by the way, because of I'm in South Africa, 
I will have to put maybe plus two seven you know um, here we will have to inform you know anytime to me it's anytime so here this is where we have to summarize what's going on actually summarize actually the issue actually so um, what I have to do is I have to copy this one uh, I will have to pause and come up with the content yeah so I managed to write uh, what do we call it all you know the, 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 the paragraph actually let me just paste it here so that you can see some of other example actually oh sorry paste so as you can see here this is what i wrote actually um yeah you know you can use the ai to help you to write you know something that is reasonable so this is what i just wrote you know hey dear google support i hope me whatever you know unacceptable business practices you know this is misunderstanding or would like to clarification you know and your website must be professional actually you must also write the content that it's relevant actually or because if it's not relevant they will you know they won't do anything you, you you get a point then um what do we call it if you have something that is related you know uh attachment you can do that actually so for now i don't have let me just try to submit because i can't see where i have to you know click the the, the submit you know recap capture yeah so yeah this is how you do it uh then i will have to submit uh all right i think here it's not right uh let me just do zero you know because already there it's already detected that i'm in south africa so submit boom this is how you do it actually so you know yeah this is how you do it so i hope you like this video actually so if it's something that is helpful uh, make sure that you comment ask me questions if you want us to do that for you you want us to bring back the business like this I mean your Google Ads account um, let us know on, on, on our Instagram actually and also make sure that you subscribe and the, hit the bell icon I can see you right now hit the bell icon subscribe and the, hit the bell icon yeah. Uh, that's where you uh, you get more videos like uh, Google Ads. We always release videos like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, the problems actually, and also you know if you want interested for you know for us to manage your Google Ads account in terms of getting strategies and everything. Let us know. Thank you. Peace.